Hello, good afternoon. I'm back again, Lucha FM, with another episode of the Dynamo Tbilisi and George Nash team on Football Manager Save. Um, where you left us, where you left us off last, we played a few games with the Georgia national team. We won both games against um, Kosovo and Moldova, and then we played a couple of the Europa Conference games for Dynamo. We beat. KI or P, however you want to pronounce them, we beat them, but then we lost to Basel 2 0. So a bit indifferent there, 1 1, lost 1. But overall, it was a pretty good episode. And then in this episode, we've got a couple of Georgia national team games against Norway and Kosovo. And then we've got a, um, we've probably got the, the rest of the, uh, well, a couple of the Europa conference games with Dynamo as well. So an action-packed episode. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thank you as always for people who've been watching and enjoying this series so far, especially people from Georgia. As I said, much appreciated. So anyway, I'll be back in a set with the first game of the episode. Hooray! Right, so here we are. First game, as I said, against Norway. Very tough game. We lost 1-0 to them in the last time we played them. Um, Hopefully, we can get revenge on them. Um, I mean, you know, they've got a very good... T oh, oh, this is a turn-up for the books. Harlan's not playing for some reason. I mean, they've still got Odegaard. They've, still, they've got the Soloff, who's very good. Uh, Sharida Sh Rook, whatever his name is, Nusser. So they're not... It's not going to be like an easy game, but it's going to be easier for us. He's not on the bench as well, so... That's a turn-up for the books. That might give us a chance. Um, first highlight goes to us. From the throw in, Yako. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see if the AR will give the goal. What they're going to do. Get in. 1 0 to us. Throw in. We might get a, a decent win here, I'll look to do. I mean, it's too early in the game, but if we get another goal from this highlight, we're, uh, we're, we're getting there. Oh, good save by their goalie. Good shot. We're all over him after it's only been four minutes. Corner. Driven in, headed out, unfortunately. Still got possession. Playing head we're playing header tennis. Remember doing that as a kid. See how many headers you can uh, keep the ball up without without it going without it bouncing on the floor. Oh no, Cavadon is injured. Uh we'll put Park Elsie in there because he played really well last game. Not last game, game before, sorry. Hopefully that can continue. Corner. Oof. Let's head it over. We have been the, the, the better team so far, but it is Norway. They can just sit back and then all of a sudden they'll Odegaard will just be show some absolute brilliance and get Norway a, a goal. We're, we're getting quite a few bookings here. That's, that's all you need. Right, we'll get rid of that get stuck in uh, thing and then hopefully we are alright. We crossed by Odegaard, luckily we on top of it. If Arden was on top if Arden was uh header in that probably would have gone in. Right, we're on the counter attack now. Hope we can build something here. We're uh, doing well to keep possession of the ball. Let's see how long that lasts. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, okay. They don't need Haaland, as I said. You don't want to check their goal for VAR? No, what a surprise. All right, 1-1 one, one at half-time. Probably fair result, really. Um... Thrown to us, intercepted by Norway. They're going to score here. Odegaard. That's just stupid. I'm annoyed at that. That was such a poor throw in. Who was the one that did that throw in? I think it was him. Great you. Great you as well. You're playing poorly. You're playing bad. How are you? Right. Let's hope that helps in some way. Throw in. 
At least that didn't go to the opposition this time. Still getting into this, we can still get something out of this game. Oh, I thought that went in there. <laughs> Very ambitious. Right, I need to make a substitution by the looks of it. Corner. Good header. That was unfortunate. Just over. Right. Let's try demanding a bit more. They get another goal. It's game over. But I wasn't expecting us to get anything against Norway. They're a very good team. Way more, way ahead of the game than we are as a football nation. I'm just happy Haaland didn't score against us in this game. Good clearance. Uh, I thought one of our players was going to get on the end of that now. Right, who's playing really fast? Oh, we can't take more players off, that's it. Right, let's try firing up the players, see if that will work in any way, actually. Um, put these a bit further forward as well. Right, we're throwing everything at the bus, at the, uh, we're throwing the kitchen sink, as they say. There's nothing else we can do. Uh, Norway's got a free kick, they're going to score from here. That was a beautiful free kick, to be honest. That was such a well, a well done free kick. Good header. Oh well. Onwards and upwards. We've got another game um, against Kos we got a game against Kosovo, we beat them last time, so hopefully we can beat them again. I just hope the morale's not too bad. Right, so Cavadonna's out for the rest. I don't want to see how long he's in here for. Uh, it won't let me. But he's not, not available. Neither's uh, one of our main strikers, so that's not good. Um, can replace the player. So Cavadonna, we need to find a replacement for him. Right, who's our best option? Yeah, we'll pull him up. And then, did that work? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. And then, pull him up. Right, I'm hoping that works. Yeah. Right, so. Next game is in two days, so I'm just going to holiday quickly, as it really won't take that long. Praise him in training. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't pick Cavadonna. Praise him as well. Yeah, apparently um, we're on the verge of a takeover with Dynamo Tillablissi, but I won't get my hopes up until it happens. Um, so yeah, so we've got a bit of a changed team here because of the injuries. We'll just see how we get on. Hopefully we've got enough in the tank to beat Kosovo. We did beat them quite well last game. I'm hoping that's the same. I don't want us to start losing to teams that we should be beating. No highlights so far. Kosovo look like the better team. I'm looking at the stats. They've got a throw in. Kosovo would be a good build a nation, say, for people who want to do something a bit harder. There you go, 1 0. They've got a decent uh, national team as well. Actually, I would say Kosovo is probably slightly better than Georgia in real life. I could be wrong on that one. I think Georgia have done well recently, but before that, I think Kosovo were doing better than Georgia. I think it's just the I think with with the emergence of Cavadonna and uh, Mom, uh, Mamadar, Mamadashvili, that's really helped 
George's um, George's chances in competitions. Yes. Get in one one. Possible are actually doing well on this. They are their top of the league at the moment. So um, the fact that we beat them so convincingly was actually, was actually a good thing for us. Norway are currently third, which is surprising. I wonder if Haaland's retired from international football and that's why they're not doing as well. I think Haaland wishes he could play. I, I think he, and he's proud to be playing for Norway, but I think when it comes to winning international trophies, I, I think he wished he uh, could play for England, even though England aren't much better than Norway at the moment, the way it's going, but you're going to be playing with better players. Imagine an England team with Haaland and Bellingham and Mainu and Foden and, you, you know, just read them all off. Um, I just... No, I put the wrong bloody player on there. Uh, he's the left back, isn't he? No. Oh, I did do the right player. Oh, I don't know what's happened here. Right, okay. I'll figure it out in a sec. Um, I swear I took my left back off. Oh, I can't take any more players off that point. You stupid man. Right. Try and demand a bit more. They've got a corner, though. Won't be the end of the world if we get a point. We'll still be second, I think. Obviously, Norway are playing, so they might win. Oh, I thought we couldn't take any more players off. We could. Anyway, right, 1-1. One, one. That leaves us second. Still got a few more games to go. Drop three places to 59. Right, so... Um... The next game we'll play is the game against Sparta Prague. And then we've got the game versus Yverdon. So those will be the two remaining games we'll play today. So I'll be back in a sec with that. Uh, so um, I went to holiday a week for, uh, for the next game. And I accidentally clicked on something and I end up holidaying for a month. Unfortunately, the Europa conference games were played without me managing them which is really annoying now i would go back but i have the auto save thing on to save every three months because of the fact that, that, that it would get very annoying for you lot to watch it if it automatically um was saving every week or something so yeah so it's my fault so we lost we lost um we didn't do well because we lost um we lost 1-0 to Yverdon, and then we lost, and then we drew 2-2 with um, Travis Bond Spore, which meant that we unfortunately just missed the playoffs. So we started so brightly in this competition. We won the first two games, um, and then sadly we went on a bit of a losing streak in the competition, and um, we drew the last game. Now, if we won the last game, we'd have been up here somewhere, so we would have been in the playoffs. Yeah, so a bit annoyed, but... Um, we've done better than we did um, than we were expected. So not too bad for our first season in European football. Hopefully next year we can progress a bit further in this competition because I'm assuming that's where we'll end up. You never know, we might end up in the Europa League, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to holiday until... Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. We've got, we've got World Cup qualifiers coming up and... Um, We've got, um, I'll just show you who we've got in that group. So we've got Belarus, Iceland, Portugal and Switzerland. So some tough teams there, but I think we could beat Belarus. I think we might be all right against Iceland. Obviously, we're going to struggle against Portugal. And we're probably not going to beat Switzerland unless we get a fluke win. So we will get some points. We might be the third best team in that league. But you never know. Anything can happen. We could either do really, really badly or surprise a lot of people but so what i'm going to do is holiday and i'll be back in a sec and we will play the first two games of the world cup qualifying with the georgia national team so bear with us right we're back um sorry you missed the two europa conference games but it looks like you didn't miss much um so we're focusing this episode 
pretty much on um, on the Georgia national team. And we've got World Cup qualifying matches now, which are more important than the other two matches that we played. Um, so we need to try and win these. This one is a winnable game. I feel like we we we, we I feel like we'll be really disappointed if we don't win this game. Uh, Cavadonna's back, so that's good. So we'll just see how we get them against Belarus. Uh, Belarus are a bit of a fallen giant of a nation. They used to have a really good team. I don't don't think they have a very good team these days. But we'll see. I might be wrong. I don't recognise any of their players. Hamadon with the ball. Beautiful pass. Oof, hit the bar. I'm lucky not to score in the first two minutes now. Lovely pass. Great finish there by uh, Kishashvili. 1 0 to us. Like I said, I'm expecting us to win this game, and we're doing well so far. One nil. After two minutes of play, five shots, six shots, two on target. They've yet to have a shot in the game. I feel like this is going to be a very easy win for us, which is good because it's what we need. The other teams are quite tough. Iceland will be tough as well. Switzerland, Portugal. But we definitely need to beat Belarus both games and then hope we get some wins in the other games. Russia, Russia, Dili. Oh. Still 1 0. They've had one shot. Oh, they've had two shots now. Maybe they're getting into the game now. Good tackle. Right, let's see what we can do from this. I think we're gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna play it across to Pavori. Drives it through, drives it forward on the left wing, passes it inside to Cavadonna. Cavadonna, ooh. Vaha. Va uh, Loses the ball. Gives it to Avergenia. I don't know where that was going, but Cavadonna picks it up anyway. Avergenia. He loves these long shots, doesn't he? But none of them are on target. Managed to get a corner from this, so, so technically that was on target, even though I didn't look it. Uh, still 1 0. Not complaining too much with our performance so far. Could do with another goal though. Save straight to the keeper's hands. Can't leave anything around this dog. Right, sorry about that. The dog decided to, um, so basically we've got a little play area for him that we, we put, in him, put in there sometimes when we're eating and stuff. And uh, he, he's got all these toys and yet he'll take apart the, um, the mats that we put down on there. Oh, here we go, 2 0. Ah, we'll see. They are, have to have their five, uh, have to put their two pence in. Yes, get in. Anyway, sorry for that. Slight distraction by bats to the dog. He's um we've had him for um eight months now. And uh it's gone no not eight months, four five months. But it's gone very quickly. He's only eight months old. But he's very clever. He knows how to open his play area. Um, the door, he, he's he's very quick at learning things annoyingly. But he's very mischievous in a, in a funny way. He cracks, he cracks me up. Um, he gets on my girlfriend's nerves sometimes. Get in! He finally scores from a long shot, Avajana. But I wouldn't change it for a world. He's a lovely dog. 
I love him to bits. Brings a lot of joy in my life. Right, 3-0. Pretty much game over. Belarus need a miracle, I think, to get out of this. Corner. Headed out. Belarus on the break now. Oh. Good save by um, Mama Dashvili. Who in real life is on the verge of going to Liverpool, I think. I've read something about that. I could be wrong. Um, and he's going back to Valencia for the season. And then he'll be at Liverpool. So I think he, he they, Liverpool's lined him up to take over from Alisson. Ooh. So I think maybe maybe Alisson's leaving in one year's time. Maybe he's retiring. I don't know. I don't know how old he is. I don't think he's that old. But he might want to go back to... He might want a new challenge or... He might want to go back to Brazil, finish his career there, I don't know. I mean, he'll go down as one of the best Premier League um, goalkeepers of all time. Um, is he better than Edison? Mm, I don't know, maybe. I would say Edison is slightly better because of the fact that Man City have won the league on that basis, but you can't always determine that. Um, I will always say De Gea. De Gea was one of the best goalkeepers ever. Unfortunately, the last year or two at, at Man United, he kind of deteriorated at a rapid pace. But I still wish he was there because I just think he's 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 way. I think he's better in, than Onana in certain aspects, but then Onana's better than him in other aspects of the goalkeeping. And I think Onana plays better um, with, with Ten Hag's approach. So it was. Probably needed, but De Gea will always be one of my favourite goalkeepers of all time. Other than, say, Schmeichel, um, I'd say De Gea is the next, and then Van der Sar after that, I think, to be honest. Van der Sar coming in quite late into his career, coming to Man United and winning all them competitions for us and doing really well. So, yeah, Schmeichel's my favourite there. But then I think that's based on the fact that um, I was a kid in the 90s, so... You're kind of more nostalgic towards football when you when you were a kid than you are as an adult. But De Gea, like I said, Man United legend as far as I'm concerned. It is a shame what happened to him. I'm um, just sorting these out. Right. Send you. There were just everyone. Right, nearly finished. Um, that's not. You know, buzzing noise is the fly that won't die. I've tried to kill him about fifty times in the last five minutes offline. I think I should just do a video of me trying to kill this fly. I think that'd be more entertaining than watching me play football manager. Right, we've got a new goalkeeper in. Cost me a bit of money. But I think he's worth it. Um Vaclav Had uh Halabki. So I think he'll end up being first team goalkeeper. Oh no he isn't he's not even as a backup at the moment. Might not be ready to play. Do this should be ready in a second. A bit too much there. Oh, something else. Sorry, everybody. Right. Finally. So last game of the episode. Um, playing Switzerland. This will be a very tough game. This will be like similar to Norway, but. Say Switzerland are overall better than Norway. Um, 
their first team doesn't look that good to be honest so maybe we will, we will be all right i guarantee that uh zaka will get a yellow card in this game i'm pretty sure on that one right bonus to us first highlight of the game after 10 minutes floated up headed out still got it avadano was unfortunate there Bori gives it to Gotcha Gasvidi. Corner to us after a good save. Uh, gotcha Gasvidi. Gives it corner straight in the goalkeeper's hands. Free kick to us. Avadonna. Floats it up. Headed out. Still got it though. Avadonna again. Uh, Bori. A bit more direct, I think. Ball. Oh, we should have done better with that. I don't know how that's a corner, but okay. I just assumed he mishit the shot and it went wide. Another corner. Better delivery this time. Unfortunately, headed over. But we seem to be doing quite well so far. Another corner. Oh, we were unlucky there. Still got it though. Beautiful cross. Ah, unfortunate. We are knocking on that door. They've yet to have a shot. But you know what will happen. First shot they'll have in the game, they'll score. That was a poor pass. I've never seen one. Could have done much better with that then. Ricardo Rodriguez still playing football. I thought he was ancient. I swear he's like 36, 37. I could be wrong. I'll have a look in a second. Zaka with the shot over. I think that's the first shot they've had. Doesn't count for some reason. Oh, it did. Yeah. Right, let me just have a look how old he is because it's bugging me. Right, Ricardo, Ivan Rodriguez. Oh, it's only 32. I stand corrected. I feel like he's been playing forever. He's one of them players that you're just shocked that he's not as old as he is. Right, throwing to us. Making the most of these set pieces. So, good cross. Lucky, right. Oh, come on. We should be taking full advantage of these bloody chances. Because you know what happens. Switzerland will end up scoring in a second. Good clearance. Switzerland still in possession. Good over the top ball to over four. Good save. Good reaction save by Mama Das, really. I'm going to kill this boy in a minute, I swear to God. Driving me mad. Right, Switzerland still have the ball. I think maybe now Switzerland will be trying to get into this game. Go away, Mr. Fly. I need to get me some fly spray. My girlfriend doesn't like me using it though because it, 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 it stinks out of the house because of the chemicals and stuff. Right, we're going to have to make two enforced substitute. Actually, now we'll leave Cavadonna for now. Oh, we were lucky that took a deflection then. That would have probably gone in, otherwise. Can you hear that constant buzzing noise? I hope you can't. I do apologise if you can. Right. I need to take Cavadonna off, unfortunately. I need to swap in with him. And I need to take him off. Put him off. We start the second half like the first half in possession, doing well. Hopefully we can get, we'd be a bit more clinical with our chances. I'll be really annoyed if we lose this game now after having all these chances. Good header. Good save by the goalie. Right, Kabori with the throw in. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, come on, we should have done better than that. How many chances do we want in this game? I feel like they're just going to punish us in a sec if we don't score. We're free kick, unfortunately not to score from there. How many shots do we have? I'll have a look in a sec. Corner. Headed out. We lose ball. Offside. Free kick or whatever. Right, we've got possession of the ball now. We lose it. No, nope, put it back. Go on. Up and that's really. Nice bit of passing going on. This is going to be a goal here. Just be, oh my god, how fucking close do we want to get? This is starting to annoy me now. How many shots do we have? Oh, too quick, man. All right. Come on, it's got to be a goal now. Oh my days, how many times do we want to hit the post in this game? I swear that's the third time we've hit the post. And they'll score in a set. You what? It's only a matter of time. Right, I'm pausing it. Ten shots, four on target. Don't get me wrong, Switzerland's up their chances as well, but this is getting ridiculous. Um, I feel like we can't really do too much. We've kind of just got to go along with it. Um, we'll take him off there. Not worth it. I know, I can't take him off there. One. Oh. Still got the ball though. Come on, let's try and get a goal here. We're missing cover. Yes, get in. One nil. Thank God for that. Surprising lead in this game. I've jinxed it now. First of the commentator. Here comes Switzerland equaliser coming up. Luckily, Kabori got in the way. Corner to Switzerland. 20 minutes to go. Headed over. Let's see if we can see this game out. Another highlight to us, maybe. No. That was the poor pack. Is he, is he playing for Switzerland now or something? What's going on? Right, interception there. That was lucky. That wasn't there. Switzerland. Oh, good tackle. Come on. I mean, what was the point in that? Other than to waste time, I suppose. I don't know. Right, we're coming up to 10 minutes left plus added time. Another throw in to us. Can we get another goal? Kill the game off. A lot of hand signals there by um, Gosh uh, Lewis, really. Yes, get in! Gitesh really, 2-0, uh, an upset win I would say. Alright, that's that then everyone, good episode if you like the Georgia national team. Sorry about the uh, cock up on my part when it comes to the Dynamo Televisi. Uh, we're now up to 51st position in the World Cup rank in the World Rankings. Yes, we are proving to be a surprise package. Right. So, stupid bloody fly. Right. Um, so, next episode, we will start with the games against um, Iceland, because obviously we're not playing European games with Dynamo until the start of the regular season, because it's different in Europe. So, yeah, so it will probably be another episode focusing on the national team. There's no point playing the domestic league. Um, I'll just quickly show you. No, need to click on that. Have we started the season? Yeah, we have. We've won. We've played four games. We've won four games. Um, Sabatello, so doing well. They lost one game there. Uh, but yeah, we are not playing. Let's have a look at when did we? When did the Champions League games? Start? Um. Right, so when did the Champions League... Hold on, here we go. This is how we do it. So it was July. So actually, so if we're looking at July on here, we've got... Um, we might actually have... No, so we'll have the Iceland games playing Iceland back-to-back. -back. 
and then what we'll do is we'll probably have some Champions League qualifying games in the next episode, so that'll be fun. So double game against back to back games against Iceland. We're doing really well in the World Cup qualifying rounds and the group stage. We have a quick look here. We've won both games, so we should be top of our league. I uh, was second. But yeah, Portugal got a better goal difference than us. But it helped it's good that the other teams haven't won yet. So um and we've got a better goal difference than them as well. We're doing well. We're doing well. Um, right then, as always, um, I'm just going to move this. There we go. As always, thank you for following. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and also like the video. It goes a long way to getting YouTube to push out my videos. And please leave a comment, good or bad. Let me know what you think of the episode so far. Um, and uh, and let me know if you like the new format I'm doing for this series. It's I'm doing something different. I'm not. I'm not focusing on every game like I've done with other saves. I'm only focusing on the main European games and the Georgia national team games. So let me know if you want a mix of a, of a few domestic games for Dynamo as well. I just think it's a bit boring because I'm, I'm, I win every game pretty much in the league. So, but let me know. I will go with the majority. And I'll, uh, I'll be back next week with another double episode. Um, as always, we do the Georgia save on um thursday and friday i think don't quote me on that i can't remember but yeah right i'll see you soon enjoy the rest of your week all the best